Hey everyone, welcome back, Blue Riser here. So today we're doing another breakdown. Now, this character, I didn't think she was going to get so many versions of herself, but it was Mina Ashido. And in fact, I think a few of the girls have quite a few versions. Jiro has two extra versions. Momo has two extra versions. Suyu has four as well, four versions of herself. Well, Chaco also has four versions of herself. So I guess a lot of the class, at least more popular characters, are getting more versions. Kaminari even has four versions, which is pretty cool. Now, I wonder when Sero or... Oh, what's his name? Oh, it's not Ojido. Ojido's down there. Uh, Sero or... I'm trying to figure it out without th looking, at, looking at his character. It's Shoji. Shoji. I wonder if Shoji are ever going to get other versions. They're not very popular, so who knows. Anyway, let's go over with the Shido. I've already covered the basic Shido and the basic girls. It's It was um, Jiro, Momo, and the Shido, those three. So if you want to know about the yellow Shido, go to that video. Okay, so the first one is Mina Shido, and then it's the cheerleader version. She's a speed type. She is a support class with a dash movement. Overall, what does her thing do? Her death blow is a powerful cheer that... Powerful cheer dance that increases speed for like 10 seconds um, and then the other one is she can't be affected by an attack down and health goes up that's like a double double standard not double standard it has two effects to it which is cool it's like she can't get attacked down and also her health goes up when looking at her stats the only thing that really sticks out is her health which is pretty high is past 4,000 defense uh, is okay and so is attack so she's a pretty decent character, but since she is support, she works better in like matches online with other people since her cheer affects those around her. I'm going to go ahead and look at the art because I'm not sure what art I want to put on the side. All of Ashido's art is pretty damn good. To be honest, I like her a lot. Next up is the bikini version where her special attack is... Now her special attack is it's the surfing damage and it causes defense down for enemies. And then the other one is also attack cannot go down and then her attack is up by 5%. So overall another two-parter for her characteristic. And then we look over her stats. She has 4,000 defense, 4,300 attack. And I'm going to round the health to 4,000 as well. She is a pretty good balance type if she wanted to be listed as one. She could have been listed as a balance type. But instead she is still a support type and most likely it's because of her defense down when she attacks her enemies. Go ahead and look at this one too. Man, Ashilo is a bombshell, for sure. I remember reading a, a the creator, Horikoshi or Horikoshi, one of the two, but he said he wanted like a girl who had wide hips or like had more meat on her bones and stuff like that. And I guess Ashilo was like kind of that um, result. Overall, bombshell character, really nice. And then the final Ashilo, which uh, came out recently with Kaminari banner, with the new Kaminari and Tokoyami. But this was the only one I got. Now this one is listed as a balanced character. But I feel the prior one was probably better listed as that. But whatever. Now this one is she like shoots her poison out in like a circle of radius. No, is it a circle of radius? Whatever. She shoots her poison out. You'll see it. It causes enemies to get poisoned. And then her characteristic is HP up 10%. Looking at her stats, her health is almost 5,000. So that's pretty crazy. Her defense is 3,000 and her attack is 3,400. I would say her health is pretty, really not pretty, it's pretty damn great. Her defense is a little lacking, but easily fixable. Her attack is alright as well. Overall, I guess that does make sense as a balanced character. She just has a bit more health than other balanced characters have. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and use the cheerleading one first. So let's go ahead and go into battle. You'll see the effect of her cheer if we can get Bakugo to stand still for a while. So we're going to go here. Cheer should increase his stats too. Let's see if it did. It didn't. Well, whatever. It normally increases a party stats, which is why she's listed as support type. Like, uh, I tend to forget sometimes this game does have um, a multiplayer aspect to it. But even then, like, I don't use it as much because still you would have to have like Wi-Fi connected and all that kind of stuff. And I've had drop matches before. It's never nice. There we go. Now, if you're wondering why she's attacking so fast, I have a um, a gadget that does that. But we're gonna go ahead and check out her combos real quick. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoa, wait. Let's try that again. One, two, three. She keeps jabbing. Stop jabbing. One, two. Oh my gosh, Shido! 
she just jabs infinitely. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to check it out against enemies. That really sucks. Alright, so we'll, we'll look at the combo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, about seven hits. Quite a bit of hits. She's doing good damage too. Let's go around here, take out some enemies, and increase our speed even more so. Yeah, and that hurts enemies too. I should say that. Her cheer hurts enemies. I was so surprised when I was fighting uh, cheerleaders in um, Battle Royale to see that their cheer hurt me. And it does quite a significant amount of damage, too. If we just go here, right? She could probably clear out these enemies. I already hit them, though. But see? Look at that. They're almost dead. Let's go ahead and do that. And we'll do that at the end. There we go. There we go. And you're dead. So this one's really fast. Just because of her, her death blow, too. It just makes her fast. She's just fast in general. If you have a fast, um, what do you call that? Gadget? Then it makes it even better. There we go. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Alright, now we're trying to take him out. Let's do this. Yep, see? Look at that. Crazy damage. Crazy. There it is. There, is. there it is. This is speed up. I guess he just wasn't in the circle. And you get to see their, um, what do you call that? Cheer pose. Alright, next up is the swimsuit version of Shino, which, uh, pretty nice again. Leave me alone, I'm a pervert. Anyway, <laughs> one, two, three, four. It looks like the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. Which is a shame. But she's a six star, so she has these nice particle effects on her. Yeah, there we go. She's got these really nice particle effects. Something I can't actually remember if they had before. I want to have a look back at old gameplay. I don't actually remember these particle effects too well. Especially being on her, since I used her quite a bit on the first Mogi Mogi Festival. Let's do this. Mogi Mogi Battle, that's the name of it. So her uh, combos are the same, let's go ahead and move on. We're just going to show off the special attack, and then maybe see the ending pose, but I don't think it's different. So let's go. I don't think it's different from the regular Shida, I should say. There we go. Let's use this. So she goes on her surfboard, and she attacks around. It goes straight forward and then has an area of effect attack. So it's kind of like a zigzag and then a big circle at the end. Now, when you're fighting bosses, it's probably going to go past the boss, which does suck. You're going to have to time it pretty well. Do you want to hit with that last attack or do you want to hit them on the way over? Uh, I would say to hit with the last attack would probably be better since it does decrease their defense. Let's go ahead and uh, move forward a bit. Just a little bit. There we go. So if we see here, let's see if the enemies move closer. One, two, three, and then down. So enemies who are moving like from side to side, they're going to miss. That that attack's going to miss them. There we go. Let's go ahead and wipe these guys out. All right, not too hard. Let's go ahead and finish this up, man. Yay, boss time. I keep forgetting I turned the music off on this. <laughs> let's uh, kill you guys. Yeah, there you go. There we go, good guy. And let's try this out. I don't think it's going to see like that we missed. Boy oh boy. Can I get some more before I end it? I can't. Nope, sure can. Alright, well, see you later. As you see, we move forward, forward, and then circle. I shouldn't say forward, like diagonal. Yeah, it's the same as a regular shield. Okay, so this is Elasa Shilo with her butt sticking so far out. What the heck? Anyway, yeah, this is Elasa Shilo who actually, now that I think about it, the swimsuit one has a different pose. She has her um, arms on her hips. Like, they're resting on her hips and her arms are out. So that's pretty cool. But this one has a different one. The basic Shilo one does. Like this one. But anyway, let's go ahead and attack. Not too much. This one is the one with a lot of health. Right now it's almost near 6,000. Now I wasn't focusing on getting it near to th uh, to 6,000. Let's uh, just move a bit ahead. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Yep, same combos and everything else. So it's nothing really different to look at besides our special attack. And I guess we'll use that at the, um, the boss. So I'll see you guys at the boss. Now something I did forget to mention, this Ashido has 320 SP, which is pretty crazy. It's like crazy high. With the attack that only costs 115, which is pretty low too, we are going to probably do our special attack a lot. 
And if these enemies just kind of get out of my way, bug her off real quick. I want to try to use it now. I believe it. Yeah, it's a sliding attack, and then she slides up. And does like an uppercut or something like that. I think it was what she did in the sports festival with Ariana. No, it's not. Did she? I think so. Let's do it again. I'm, I'll need to see it. Slide, and then an uppercut. It's more dramatic than how she beat Aoyama. Yeah, truly is a bit more dramatic. I remember the uppercut pretty well. I remember seeing his head just get knocked up. <laughs> okay, and that's it for Ashido. So let's go over what would work best with her. Now we've got the cheerleader one over here. Let's see. I would go for... She is a support type. And her speed is pretty damn good. I would actually go for attack. I would go for attack and critical. Because if you increase her speed, attack, critical, and the speed and improving gadget. As you saw in mine, she did crazy fast attacks. Now imagine doing that many attacks being able to dodge, go in and go out, and having high attack and at least a critical, and some speed up. So I guess that's one for each gadget slot, and I think that would make her crazy strong. Now again, she is meant for support, meaning like she is meant to help out a team of people and make them all faster, so those are just small things to make her last on her own, but again, re remember she is meant for a team. Next up, the swimsuit one. Uh, since she decreases defense, I would say go for more attack. Her her health is fine. Her health is fine, especially if you've done some of her lessons. That's easily going to get hit over 4,000 on its own. Her defense is okay as well. I would really say increase her attack since she lowers defense. And if an enemy, you hit them with your special attack, and if you have high attack, it's going to do great damage. But you'll lower their defense as well, and then you could well, you can't go again with it since... Her special attack does cost quite a bit with 100, 190. She also can't have attack down, and her attack goes up. Overall, I will only say attack. This girl can do crazy damage if you just let her. Now, this one, I'm not 100% sure, because she's got a lot of health, that's for sure. she got a damn a lot of health. I believe mine is near 5,000 something, but even then, it's... It's hard to choose. It's hard to choose for this one. I would always say, I guess this would be a rule of thumb for me at least, is if they got good health, follow it up with good defense. Because as long as you can stand that, withstand the battle and withstand some hits, you'll win sooner or later as long as you can keep dodging and playing smart. With our special attack applying poison to an enemy, I would definitely say if you just can last out, go in, take a jab there, roll out. Go in, take a jab there, roll out, special attack, they get poison, and obviously, on harder maps, there are normally stage hazards too, so if you apply poison with uh, fire or spikes or whatever, she's going to do great damage just doing that. And of course, you can accompany her with a stronger, harder hitting character. I think if anything, she's a pretty good support class, when you like apply what she can do. Okay, I decided which one I'm going to have on the side. Swimsuit and the new one, because the new one just has hips that don't lie. Hashtag hips don't lie. But overall, this has been the Shido. Again, if you guys uh, need to see any of the other characters that we've done, we have a whole list and a playlist. I'll try to put in the link below. And of course, if you want to see other characters for breakdowns, maybe ones I haven't covered after you've checked out that playlist, just send me a message on Discord. We have a My Hero Academia smash tap a uh, subsection that you can e easily just tell me what you want to see from me when it comes to my hero academia related stuff and i'll definitely i might not rep reply or respond right away but I don't worry i've definitely seen it other than that i'll see you guys next time be sure to like comment and subscribe peace out